Nola Gent at the beach corner. Yeah, good stuff in here. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are in the New Orleans mid city neighborhood at the beach corner bar and grill on a travel search for the best burger options in New Orleans. The Beach Corner Bar and Grill is located at 4905 Canal Street, which is about 10 minutes and three and a half miles away from the French Quarter. The Beach Corner is noted for being the home of the 10 ounce beach burger. And we're going to continue our best burger quest through New Orleans. And we're gonna feast with me here at the Beach Corner Bar and Grill as part of our exploration of all the New Orleans restaurants that we can find with the best burgers and all of that amazing collection of New Orleans food and our New Orleans restaurants. So our restaurant review video will include an exploration of the Beach Burger in here. So let's go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. So they've got a couple of chalkboards on the outside giving us some information. And the burger of the month is the Jammin' Bacon Burger. My last visit here, the burger was the Pandemic Burger, which was a peanut butter burger. So they always have some interesting burgers of the month in here. So if you like little changes of flavor like that, you should check it out. So you see they have some nice booths in here, right next to the bar. There's a lot of great seating options in here. Video poker machines there on the right. And then more chairs back here. The pool tables are still closed due to the pandemic situation. I don't know how pool spreads the virus, but uh, we will uh, maybe one day find out. They have a great back patio here with a lot of space also. So this is a pleasant spot to be when the weather is nicer. And there's a lot to check out out here. It's a nice pleasant space. And you certainly can have an enjoyable patio experience out here. And uh, definitely it's good to have some fresh air on nicer days and enjoy yourself. So definitely good to have the options of the inside, the outside, and plenty of space to spread out. Now let's go back in and look around some more. Always so strange not seeing people inside of a place. It's still pretty slow. I came early to make sure that I got some good space to film in. So things are still pretty slow in New Orleans these days, though, with the entire uh, pandemic situation. Uh, this has never really been a big tourist bar, though. This has mostly been more of a local's place, and it's still pretty early. Uh, this was more of a place a lot of people would come late night, too. This is actually the earliest I've ever been. The order right here at the front, uh, when you first walk in at the counter here, they have their menu posted up on the board, and then you can also look on the website to order. So they have appetizers with fries, cheese fries, bacon cheese fries, bacon blue cheese fries, sweet potato fries, potato skins, onion rings, fried spicy meat pies, cheese sticks, jalapeno poppers, chicken tenders, chicken quesadilla rolls, buffalo chicken strips, broccoli bites, cheese curds, Southwest egg rolls, crispy green beans, Tabasco infused fried mushrooms, and they have various types of salads. And then we have our burgers, all burgers 10 ounce. The beach burger, the cheese burger, the jalapeno cheese burger, blue cheese burger, the mushroom Swiss burger, the bacon cheese burger, the hot and spicy beach burger, the hickory smoked cheddar burger, the black and blue burger, and the burger of the month. Then we have our chicken sandwiches with a grilled chicken breast, grilled or fried buffalo chicken, grilled mushroom Swiss chicken breast, fried chicken tenders, bacon cheddar ranch chicken, hot and spicy chicken, hickory smoked cheddar chicken. And we have sandwiches with grilled yellowfin tuna steak. I've had that before, that's good. Hot smoked sausage, fried shrimp, and fried catfish. So I've never tried the jalapeno burger before, so I'm gonna order that just to do something a little bit different. The total for the burger and an iced tea was $12.68 before tip. And they have been recognized before as the number one burger in some contest somewhere. And now they're in the Nola Gent search for the best burger. Now this is the kitchen back here behind this area next to where you order your food. 
So you can see they're back there cooking up everything, and then the bar is right here. Uh, at least they do seem to have a separate cook than the bartender. There are some places in New Orleans where the bartender cooks your food. And hey, before we get cooking too much in this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, destroy that subscribe button, comment below and refer this video to any of your contacts that would like it, because all of that really does help me with the YouTube algorithm, and I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much. Okay, so you can see it's definitely a port of call influenced burger with grated cheese on top. I just got a little thing of jalapenos on the side, so it doesn't look like it's anything that special. Kind of hoping it'd be all incorporated into the burger, but uh, okay. So <laughs> let's see if we can put this thing together. I also got it trussed, so that is uh, another thing. Usually, this grated cheese does not uh, hold up so well with all the items on it. So traditionally, a New Orleans dress means the lettuce, tomato, and pickle, and then we also get onion here. Uh, instead of sliced pickles, we just got a pickle spear. I don't know, it might slip and slide a little bit with everything here, but this meat patty is huge. So, you will see if the structural integrity is going to hold up here. This is looking uh, very tricky here. I don't know if this is gonna stay together too well. And then these jalapenos to put on. Uh, I don't think I would order this again because I don't think this is all gonna fit together so well. They, uh, they had another burger option I might try instead next time. That was the hot and spicy beach burger, which has uh, pepper jack cheese instead of the grated cheese. I think that might hold together a little bit better and uh, the structural integrity might uh, actually be a little easier to maintain. This is gonna be a challenge, but let's go ahead and eat this pickle spear, get that out of the way, at least have a little more working space. And just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like I destroyed that pickle spear. Now we're going to attempt to consume this burger and maintain structural integrity. It's not feeling all that firm. It's a little slippery. We'll see what I can do. Hmm, the burger actually is kind of dry. I'm not getting a lot of juice out of the meat. Uh, in the past when I've had it, it's been way juicier. I did order it medium well, and it seems to be a little more on the well side. It's uh, definitely much more dry than I recall from the past. I'm not getting a lot of juice flow at all. So it's a little chewier than usual. So uh, don't know if this is gonna be the uh, best example of the beach burger for everybody out there. But I think uh, we will go ahead and get through it. It's not terrible. It's just a little chewier than I'm used to. And then there is the cost value analysis of not having all that delicious grease. So it is easier to hang on to the burger without a bunch of grease running out of it. But without the grease and fattiness of it all, there's not as much flavor because the fat is flavor. So the lack of grease coming out of there to me is indicating less fat content, which would be less flavor. So, so far, this holding together far better than I initially thought it was. There's uh, some cheese even melting from the heat of the burger, so the burger is definitely hot. So you can see there's a big chunk of cheese about to fall off right there. Up oh, there it went. And uh, it definitely is holding together much more than I thought. So I'm glad that at least we're not going all over the place because initially it was not wanting to stay together very well at all. So thankfully the cheese melted more and that's kind of glued everything together and you can just see the steam coming off that burger and it's really hot as I'm biting into it. So oh, a little more cheese falling off. So uh, that did in the end keep it all together successfully. So thank goodness for the power of cheese when it melts and keeps things the way we need them to be. So. There we go. I think we've been successful with actually not dropping a bunch of stuff out for once and keeping everything together. We'll call that a success. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button like we just destroyed this burger. Now we do have some jalapenos and cheese and a lot of the lettuce I didn't even bother putting on there. It's like a whole little salad in here we can have for a uh, little after dinner snack even. We're just gonna put our salad out of order. We're having our salad after the burger instead of before, essentially. So uh, you definitely get a very generous helping of lettuce with your uh, 
burger here if you get it dressed. And the tomato actually was really, really delicious. And these onions are actually pretty mild and would make most people happy. Personally, I think I would prefer a red onion though. I like a little more of that uh, red onion flavor. But uh, for overall general consumption, most people probably would prefer these onions that are using here. And we definitely are getting a good salad out of here overall. So definitely, I don't like to waste my food, you know, after uh, all the stuff we've gone through. I've got these fries. I've got a taste as well, though. So these things are piping hot also. So got a little uh, seasoning on it. Let's take a little bite and um, get good flavor. Crisp on the outside, soft on the inside, so properly fried. So destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I'm going to eat more for you now. So I'm going to get the buffalo chicken sandwich, but I'm not sure what's going on here. It's not a chicken breast, it's multiple chicken tenders. I really don't know how this is going to hold up. The structural integrity of this is going to totally be a challenge. I can see maybe this uh, working on a po' boy bun. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, there's not, not any cheese or anything to hold it together. It's going to be quite a challenge for me. Uh, let's see if I can manage this. I've got to squeeze it together really hard. Buffalo sauce on here is pretty spicy and slippery. And these things are piping hot straight out of the fryer. So there's nothing easy about anything here. This is going to be quite a challenge. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's falling out as I feared. Structural integrity is failing across the board. There we go. We've already lost tomato. We've lost chicken tenders. I don't think this is the best uh, approach to a chicken sandwich with this kind of a bun. Uh, maybe the po' boy bread would work better. This, this is just not the right shape, not the right configuration for what we've got here. I'm uh, thinking the regular chicken breast probably would put here better. Not quite sure what's going on here. I think I, ra I just would have rather have had just plain chicken tenders and move on away. I don't know. I'm going to apart. This is a uh, failure. Can't do it. I'm not, not going to do this. This just doesn't work for me. Maybe somebody can successfully eat this thing, but uh, I'm just going to eat chicken tenders now. Uh, I, just, I, don't, I don't get it. It doesn't work for me. So. Structural integrity is totally failed. I have lost the sandwich chef here, unfortunately. Though, we'll just uh, go ahead and eat his chicken tenders, and they, uh, they are pretty darn good chicken tenders. So I actually starved myself all day so I could eat these two meals all at one time to get it all on film for this video. I uh, started my morning off at 2 a.m. with a jog down uh, St. Charles Avenue for a nice little two-mile run. And uh, it actually shot up from the 30s up into the 70s today. So, went from really cold to really pleasant. And this chicken tender is actually pretty pleasant too, though. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go, another little chicken tender. It looks nice, though. They do make some nice chicken tenders here. It's really crisp and fried quite well. And the chicken's got a good flavor. The buffalo sauce has a little kick to it. It's not overwhelmingly strong, but uh, definitely you can feel a little of the heat on there. So it's uh, more of a sneaky peak kind of a uh, gentle heat, not anything overwhelming. Mm, okay, so this tomato definitely had a good flavor on the burger, and ooh, it's even better by itself. So this is definitely an excellent tomato. Some really good flavors with this tomato. I don't know if we're on Creole tomato season yet or not. Uh, the seasons are so strange now, I don't know. But I do know I love a good pickle spear, so I think I will have a little pickle spear for my dessert. This thing looks pretty delicious here. So, mmm. Two pickle spears in one day. Ah, good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and call this done. So go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Refer this video to any of your contacts that would like it. And hey, I do work for tips. And I really would appreciate it if you would check out my Patreon program in the comment section below. So thanks so much to everybody at the Beach Corner for what a huge burger they have here. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.